Scammer Boys back. What up? Back in business. You can't show them the box, though. They can't know the rest. <laughs> All right guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be installing some new wheels on the Evo 10, or in this video. So currently, they're not the right color. These are some Volt TE37s. I don't know why they shipped them in Vordovan boxes. I thought it's kind of weird, but legit, legit stuff only here. There's the grand reveal. Damn, boy. Oof. Wait, don't show the cap. Uh. I'm just playing, guys. So these are Vordovan. I think they're like Form 10 or something like that. T37 reps. 18 by 10.5, and they should look really, really sick on the Evo 10. So the plan with these, well, reason number one why I bought reps, TEs are expensive, all right? So that's why I bought reps, because <laughs> I'm cheap as shit. <laughs> Let's be honest. I was gonna try to come up with this all like the only reason. <laughs> well, I don't wanna, dude, I had TEs, but I didn't wanna strip them, you know? That's yeah, like a yeah. rare color, the, yeah. the Saga edition or whatever. But these things are gonna go mag blue, and they're gonna look absolutely beautiful. So what we're gonna be doing is, well, Jared's gonna bring these out to limitless coatings, because he's headed out there anyway. He's the plug. They're gonna be stripped, bring them back here, sandblast them, and then from there we can powder coat them mag blue, which I'm not, I'm having to like combine colors, two different colors from prismatic powder, mix them together, and hopefully it comes out looking somewhat good. It might not, guess we'll see, but yeah, these are the wheels. Honestly, they look sick right now in that machined or the brushed finish, but I think mag blue against silver is gonna look absolutely amazing. So here's what they look like, beautiful. I'll show you guys what they look like when they come back from limitless coatings being shipped. If you guys want these, I'll link them down below. 650 buck. It's a damn good deal. Thought they weren't gonna fit, son. I mean, nothing yeah. else fits in my car now, but. Yeah. All right, Jared just got back from limitless coatings. We got the wheels back. They're fully stripped. So we need to run these through the sand blaster and then we can move on to powder coat. We're gonna be using, it's called green diamond sand on these. It's just gonna blast off all of this leftover residue, about 10 to 15 minutes per wheel. And then we can move on to the mag blue powder coat, which might be kind of difficult. What we just did after the wheel was sandblasted is pull it out, degrease it, pressure wash it, throw it in the oven, and pre-bake it 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Then we just pull it out, we're gonna let it cool down. It is time to move on to the color. So I'm trying to get as close as possible to the mag blue from Volk on, the, on their TE37s. It's kind of what I'm trying to do, is like replicate that as close as possible without spending $3,500 on the wheels. That's the goal today. So we got a package in from Prismatic Powders. Huge shout out and thank you to them for always supplying the best powders in the world. Okay, so we had a little mistake, little error. We got the wrong powder ordered up. A few days later now, the new powder has showed up. Let me show you guys what we are mixing. We're actually mixing two different powders from Prismatic Powders. Okay, so we have four pounds total of powder here. Two pounds are called Saratoga Blue and two pounds of the Misty Blue. So if we mix these 50-50, I think this is gonna be our best bet. I have seen one other person do this. I found online on a YouTube video. They mixed these two, Saratoga Blue and Misty Blue together, 50-50 mix when they're dry. So they're literally just taking this, taking this, mixing it inside the cup, 
and spraying that on the wheel. If this comes out good, I'll be very, very excited because the real mag blue is just so freaking beautiful. We have one wheel in the oven right now, the first wheel. We need to pre-bake it 30 minutes at 400 degrees, pull it out, let it cool down, and we can get the first wheel sprayed out and see how it looks. I'm excited for this. These wheels are gonna be insane looking on the silver bullet. All right, so we did 10 scoops of the Misty 10 scoops of Saratoga. And I think next time I'm actually gonna get out of scale just to make sure it's a perfect 50-50. It wouldn't matter if it's like 60-40, but it would have to be like 60-40 on all the wheels. So I wanna just be 100% sure that it's like all the same. So they all come out the same color, but we got to mix up in this thing. Made sure we really, really, really mix it up. You don't want like half the wheel a darker blue, half the wheel a lighter blue. So we are ready to spray. This is the Redline Easy 50 gun. I'll have this link down below as well. Let's pull this wheel out of the oven, let it cool down a little bit, and spray her out, see how she looks. Okay, the first wheel sprayed out. Color looks, I don't know, it's like blotchy looking but I'm pretty sure it's because the wheel is still a little bit warm. So I think it's fluidizing on parts of the wheel and not other parts of the wheel. So I'm hoping that as soon as we put it in the oven, it'll all flow out and look absolutely beautiful. That is how she looks right now, non-cured. So this powder, or both these powders, ironically, both cure at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. So we're gonna throw it in there, get the wheel up to 400 degrees. As soon as it hits 400 degrees on the infrared, we're gonna start the timer for 10 minutes, pull it out, let it cool down, and hopefully, I hope, it's the color we're after. Oh my gosh, guys. Just got the wheel out of the oven. I can honestly say this is the exact exact color we were going for. So to put it in perspective, the blue on the Evo 10 is a very, very bright blue. The mag blue is like kind of a neutral. It's not bright, it's not dark. It's like right in between type of blue. And I think this right here is absolutely perfect. Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Let's let the wheel cool down a little bit and then we can throw the tires on while well, we have to finish powder filling the wheels. Get the tires on, get the Evo up on the air and get the new wheels on. This is the day I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. For reference, here's how the Evo looks with the factory wheels. All right guys, we got the wheels all finished up. It's a couple hours later. I was really, really struggling trying to get the tires mounted. I'll be the first to admit, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to mounting tires. And I was getting really, really stressed out, really pissed off about it until I realized that every single dude that's good at mounting tires once had no clue what the hell he was doing. The last tire I got mounted very easy, but like the first and second ones, 
they were a bitch. And I uh, kind of messed up the wheels a little bit, which really stresses me out. I did go ahead, clean everything up, and here's how they look out in the sun. This color is amazing. Everything about these wheels turned out awesome, except for me mounting the tires. So I got them all cleaned up, got all that tire mounting lube off of there, just letting them dry. Then I'm gonna bring them in the shop, clean them up with IPA, do a quick ceramic coat on them, two coats of the Armor Shield 9, and then we can get them installed on the car. Well guys, here she is all finished up. Wait, 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 a little bit hard to see. I think it looks really, really good. I feel like something's throwing it off though. Obviously we're gonna swap out those chrome lug nuts for some black ones. That's all I had at the shop that would fit this car though, are the chromies. Um, I do feel like something else is throwing it off and I'm not sure if it's the red brakes behind the blue wheel, if that's kind of throwing it off or if it needs to be lower, I don't know. Overall, I think I really, really like it. I just feel like something Something needs to be changed. Maybe it's just the color of the car. Maybe it's just silver. Like I've said before, I've never been the biggest fan of silver, but it's coming together. I'm trying to make this silver look as best as I can. I don't know guys, let me know in the comment section below. I guess whenever Bob gets here, we will get her opinion on it and see what she thinks. You gonna look at my car? Yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. Do you like it? Yeah. I'm still iffy on it. Why would you be iffy on it? I don't know. I think it's the red brakes behind the blue wheels. It is. It looks like red, white, and blue. <laughs> is that the problem? Yeah. You sure? Yep. Are you liking the silver? Mm. Never really like silver that much. Maso mania. Being that the brakes are kind of dumb, apparently. What color are we powder coating them? White. Like, white? I think gray. Either gray or white. We can do black with white Brumbo stickers. That'd be kind of dope. That would be really cool. I would like to see that happen. <laughs> so Bobby and I both agree that the red brakes have got to go. Bobby says white brakes. I'm th I'm thinking gray or like something to Baby, match. I What's changed it? my mind. I said black. Well, oh yeah, Bobby changed her mind. She said black with white um, lettering. I think that's the problem. Like I like the wheel. I like the color. Of the, I love the color of the wheel. We got to change the brakes though. So drop a comment below. Let me know what color brakes that we should do. So what are you up to? Hold on one sec, I gotta sneeze. I'm just here to clean your car. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you guys the inside of this car. It's honestly not the worst I've ever seen. Kind of looks like a paintball thing right there. But you know, we need to do some work on her. So if you guys can see the seats are a little dusty, we just gotta, we just gotta really give her a nice clean. It's not too bad. Whenever Devin gets a new car, I like to go in depth on the cleaning process so we got some work to do this is probably the dirtiest part of the whole car honestly is the trunk so we might have to pressure wash that and then this side is also pretty dirty tell me what you think she be a man mm -hmm. Wow, you should open a detailing business. She's near man. Did you show them? No. We should pick up a ni really nice steamer for like seats and headliners. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I owe you a beer. Yes, you do. Oh. Dang it. Maybe 
Maybe I do like the wheels more than I thought. They look really good. Because they look black and then you look at it in the light and you're like, ooh. They're not black, they're That's blue. Midnight blue. All right, I'm gonna take this thing home. I'm gonna give Bobby the gap on the way home as well. You want me to? No. If you guys wanna pick up these wheels, I'll link them down below. If you wanna pick up these tires, I'll link them down below. All the powder coat that we used, powder gun, all that good stuff. Everything from today's video, I'll link down below. The wheel specs, I don't, I don't think I ever mentioned it. 18 by 10.5 plus 22 with a 265, 35, 18 tire. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, I'll see you tomorrow. Gary, she needs some mods. I'll give you a little head start. No, I don't want no head start. Why? That's gay. I know, but it's all stock. I'll give you a tiny little head start. I think it's time we build her. Bobby wanted to rip the Evo a little bit and I want to see how she looks rolling down the road. So we traded cars. I love that color combo actually. The blue on the silver looks so damn good. Beautiful park job. You oh. learned to park from me? Mm -hmm, that's why I did that. Do you like it? I really miss my Evo. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much faster, isn't it? Than your car? Yeah, my car is so slow compared to this. <laughs> that's uh, the first time I've ever beat you in any race. You're right. We it's, can go again though from a from a dig, you know, from a stop. No diggy dig. No diggy dig. How does your car look though? You like it? Yeah, it looks so sexy. Okay, well, we just gotta make it fast. Yeah. If this is 350, we gotta make this 450. Yes. Or 850, 950.